Welcome to Smart Pirates, guys. Long time no see. My name is Yurai, and this little man here, step up. This is guys Yoyo, and I'm sure some of you already know Yoyo for a very long time. That's him. So Yoyo is nearly seven years old, Alexandrine Parrot or Parakeet, and right over there you can see you can see Kiki. Kiki is sort of nearly three years old, nearly three years old ring neck. So Yoyo here, we had, we've had Yoyo since he was a little chick. And the, on the other side, Kiki over there, we had Kiki for about 10 months now. And Kiki was a sort of wild, sort of wild bird. And the story is, the story is that we caught her because she had uh, she had the ring on her leg. She had the ring on her leg, so we thought she is an escaped parrot. So we were literally trying to find the owner, but we never succeeded. So we kept her since, and since that, she has been very hard work. Very hard work. She's very beautiful and very sweet. But also she is a very aggressive bird and she just wants to bite and bite and bite, okay? We don't place our parrots in a cage at all, okay? So for the night, they both sleep in our rooms on the perch, which means they have a freedom and it's a little bit more sort of natural. Yo, yo, I know you want to have a talk. You want to talk to everyone. But wait for me first. I talk to I talk to everyone first, and then you. Deal? Stop. So the story is this: Yoyo is very cute, well trained. Doesn't like to be touched as much, but I can still stroke him, as you see. Look, he lets me to stroke him. I mean, he always will po point his beak towards to me. Just in case if I want to hurt him, then he would give me a nasty bite. But actually, he's right. He doesn't bite me anymore. Okay. We already passed the era where he used to bite me very much. And it was very painful. Now, he only, he only opens his beak sometimes. And the, he just gives me, he gives me a little warning. Just careful. Don't touch me too much. Otherwise, I give you a bite. Kiki, as you can hear, she learned... Yoyo's noise and also Mitu. Mitu's noise. Mitu is Yoyo's girlfriend. Okay, she doesn't live far away from us. You can see in our previous videos where these two Yoyo and Mitu are lovers, and they do like each other quite a lot. See when I say, "You could get Mitu G, could get Mitu, Mitu G, Mitu G, Mitu G." Yeah, he knows what that means. He knows it's his girlfriend's name. He does know. So if I do something like Kiki, so you could just see Kiki just came over her. That was a little attempt to sort of attack and scare Yoyo. And this guys is something we've been dealing with uh, since we had Kiki. I mean, not exactly from beginning. From beginning, it was the other way around. Yoyo used to attack Kiki all the time. And then in a while, in a few weeks, it changed the other way around. So uh, he, he was, she was the one who was attacking him. She, she sort of became very brave. She became very brave. And, uh, and then she started to give Yoyo uh, attacks. So it changed around the other way. Yeah. You see, Yoyo likes to be sort of in a position where he can see Kiki all the time. And... Uh, he always keeps his eye on her because she does chases him around from time to time. <coughs> Bless me. Excuse me. But our experience with Yoyo are very good. Yoyo is very friendly, very cute. Doesn't like strangers much. Okay, so he is very close. He's very close literally to only three people, me, my wife, and and this guy called Omesh. Step up. Omesh is the owner of uh, his girlfriend. Okay. 
So he does like him as much, pretty much as much he likes me and he likes my wife. So he's very close to all three of us. Anybody else who comes through the door is sort of a stranger where Yo-Yo makes his alert noise, okay? Uh, how long was it roughly for Yo-Yo to become tame? Okay, well, I would say the first year, he didn't trust us much. He didn't trust us. He was trying, he was trying, but he was untouchable, that's for sure. So there's no way we could touch him anyway. He would already bite me here. See, now he doesn't do anything. He lets me to stroke his beak. So he's pretty cool with that. Um, but otherwise, uh, as time went, year by year, he became uh, very good, very friendly. Um, a food, guys, he, he really enjoys is he does like um, lots of fruits, especially his very first meal always is a banana. He does like banana. He has banana twice a day in the morning and for the dinner. And in between, he does have uh, apple, he has a pepper, he, la he has some seeds, he has some nuts. Also, some carrots sometimes, some beetroot. He does enjoy this stuff. Uh, we give him some citrus fruit as well. He likes mandarin, orange, but not too much because it's a little bit acidic. So we try to not to give him too much acidic stuff. It's not good for their tummy. Same as for humans. But otherwise, he does like uh, blueberries. He, li he likes grapes as well. Um, he likes a little bit of tuna or egg sometimes as well. So he's no fussy eater, he does like pretty much everything and he's quite happy to try new things. But to introduce something new to him, that would be sort of that I have to eat it in front of him and then he will give it go, okay? Um, dairy is not recommended, but if you give your parrot uh, full fat organic little bit of yogurt, just I'm talking like little bit, just a little bit of tongue, it's not going to do them any harm, instead it might a little bit improve their gut, to be honest. But just, as I said, unflavored, organic, full fat yogurt, tiny, tiny amount. And only, I would suggest, once every week, once every two weeks, and that would be plenty, okay? Um, we're not making, uh, guys, we're not making too many videos, too many videos, because there's only so much you can talk about parrots, but... Uh, we do enjoy it, okay? We do enjoy to uh, share our experience with Alexandrine Parrot and uh, Ringneck. Uh, on the other side, Ringneck is much more friendlier than Kiki. The only reason Kiki is not that friendly is because she was a wild bird. So she, she sort of... Uh, she sort of got the behavior of wild, wild animal in her, which means some aggression but hopefully hopefully it will go on some point you know i really hope so she is not she is not very good in a cage that's why we don't put her in a cage when we did try to put her in a cage in the beginning she was going absolutely mad she was inside the cage climbing the cage all the time constantly even in the night she wouldn't sleep on a perch she would sleep literally climbing, climbing like this on the side, you know? Uh, and that's why we decided to let, get, let her out and she can sleep on the perch freely in the room. Uh, and she sleeps good all night. She's very good. You don't hear about her. She's quite friendly. She's very friendly with us as well. She's very social bird. She does like to be in a room with us instead of being on her own in a room. So if I would move now, next door with yo-yo she would follow us she would follow us she would follow us because she doesn't want to be left alone okay uh even i believe see she chases yo-yo yo -yo around sometimes uh, i believe it is one of the wild sort of behaviors is chasing around you know right right and i don't think there is a danger of hurting each other even they did, they did have a couple of times clash with their beaks. But because of that confrontation, Yo-Yo here doesn't want confrontation with her. So he usually steps away, flies off, flies off, and then sort of gives her what she wants, you know. I think at the end of the day, if you are a man, you better give to your woman whatever she wants. 
and then that will create quiet household. I know you know what I mean. Yes, make your woman happy. You know, even if she's not his woman, but he still wants to make her happy. Don't you? Just in case. You don't want to have a problem with her, do you? No, 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 no. And uh, yeah, that's really all, guys. Uh, when I went to Greece a couple of days ago, uh, when you saw my last video, no, previously, my couple of videos back, uh, there's a video from my friend's house that has 12 parrots. Something made me a little bit sad there, something made me very happy as well. What made me sad, even if it's very, my, it's a very good friend of mine, uh, that they had the parrots in a cage, shut all day, and not very much sunlight, and uh, the birds literally just looked at each other and nothing else, there was nothing. I did was I was a little bit jealous of the amount of parrots they had, I would love that, those parrots, but it would be impossible to have so many birds freely flying around the flat, like these two are. So if you do want to have your parrot flying around your flat freely without being in a cage, you need to have only one or two max. And then I would not recommend any more than that because it is nightmare. The amount of cleaning we have to do after them. Even we are trying to manage better. So they are not allowed to eat anywhere else besides living room here, which our living room and kitchen is sort of connected as you see. Um, but I would not recommend more than one or two parrots. Even two can be a little bit too much. Because you do have to constantly think about, do they like each other? If they don't like each other, then you have, to, you have to sometimes separate them in the rooms. And then you have to switch them around. So you have to be with each of them as well. So they are don't, they don't become stressed and uh, unhappy because they feel alone, you know? You don't want them to learn the stressful behaviors, you know? Harming themselves, yeah? Uh, you want them to be happy and you want them to feel a love, you know? Yes? Yeah, so Yo-Yo here, he is no massive fan of being stroked, but I still do it because I think he sort of gets used to it a little bit now. He must like it a little bit, come on, don't you? Little bit? Yes? Little bit. Little bit. Otherwise, uh, yeah, my friend here, that here the Amazon parrots, and here the African greys, and Cockatoo, and Galah, and Konur, and Mako, Mako as well. And we, which one would I choose? I did like uh, the pink one, uh, it was in my previous video, the Galah. He was very cute, he reminded me, he reminded me a little bit, um, Cockatiel, because the head, uh, Galah has quite small beak. He has like a half size of the beak of Yoyos. This is a big beak. But his beak was uh, very tiny and he was constantly biting me because obviously he didn't know me, but it didn't hurt. Because if he, if he would bite me like really hard force, and he did in the old days, it was very, very painful. Okay? But otherwise, he's, he's now good. He's, he's okay. Oh, good boy, good boy. You are a good boy. Yes, you are a good boy now. And you have a beautiful tail. Yes. So guys, to, uh, to choose, uh, if I have to choose uh, Alexandrine and or Ringneck, look, if you have Ringneck from Chick, very young age, and you feed him as well, hand feed, then I believe Ringneck will become a very good bird, okay? So I did not have experience with Ringneck from such a young age, but we did have a Quaker, you know, from very young age, and the Quaker was way more friendlier than even this big boy, okay? Um, so, if you do rehoming on the other side, I do like rehoming parrots, but the problem there can be that the parrot might not like you, you just, you just don't know. If you have a young chick, then definitely your parrot will like at least one of you, if you are a couple or somebody from household. But if the parrot is rehomed, it's not guaranteed because if they miss their old owner that they got really attached to, it can be quite difficult to it can be quite difficult to start like new owner. But it usually it can it happens. It happens your parrot will start to like somebody new, you know, 
on some point. They do give you they do give you a chance. You just have to be patient, you know, and sometimes it is quite hard. That part. Being patient it can be quite hard. So yeah. These birds are very friendly and they are very smart. Yo-Yo can say some words. He can say them in English, he can say them in uh, Slovakian. But I don't care about that as much. I mean, it's very cute when Paro talks, but what I find more interesting is when I, for example, go somewhere, like for example, if I would now go through the door, hopefully it's gonna work. Let's see, hopefully he's not gonna let me down. Yoko, yes or no? Give us a no, we love the What's another is big point? What's another easy? Like what? What's another easy? What? What? Oh, Mickey. Okay. So as you could see, I was telling Yo-Yo to come with me. Come with me, Yo-Yo. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going next door. You know, come with me. And he did. You see. And so, what I found what much more interesting is when I call him and I tell him come with me, he will come with me. And that is way more sort of. No, I don't want to say cool, but it's way more important for me to uh, teach him, okay, than to say hello, okay. On the other side, he knows what it means to go to sleep. He can ask to go to sleep in the evening, or I ask him, are we going to sleep? And he knows what that means. Um, also, he does understand some words of food. So if I ask him if he wants that or that, he knows what that means. Sometimes he asks for those foods as well. And that is way more important for me. So, so, very sorry. The humidity, humidity in UK is so high that my nose is always blocked in here. When we were in the Greece, my nose was so nice and clear. But since we came back here, it's just all, all is very very blocked so what i'm trying to say is i prefer if the parrot is taught well what things mean and uh, we can live our lives together and respect each other you know and understand each other that is way more important for me than uh, if he learns to say this or that okay um and that's always going to be the case i know it's very cute if the bird can say something or make some nice noise and sweet noises but I do care more about the behavior of the birds, okay? And that's why I call uh, my uh, sh uh, channel as well, uh, my channel, channel. I just, did I just say channel? I said channel. My channel, YouTube channel, I call it uh, uh, Smart Parrots, okay? Because it's for me, it's about smart. It's not smart to say something. Smart is to say something and know, to know the meaning behind it as well, yeah? Um, and that's really all. Anyway, guys, uh, if you are new, please subscribe to us. And if you are not new, then uh, give us like, comment. Let me know how you're doing with your birds or pets, dogs, cats. You know, that nobody said that this has to be only about parrots, okay? I'm sure we all, the uh, same, same reason why we have a pets is uh, the same, you know, because we want them and uh, you want them to be smart. So maybe smart animals, we can rename this uh, channel. And otherwise, uh, yeah, let me know what you think about everything I said. And uh, see you soon, guys. Take care.